Let the scoring begin. He's coming out. Jamar Wall just shy of the 20 yard line. First down and 10, and here comes that new look running game. And that was Shannon Woods with the first carry. For Texas Tech. High snap. Incomplete as Graham Harrell brought it back down. The offensive line keeps it clean. Can't find an open receiver. Now chucks it. First down. And there's the main man, number five, Michael Crabtree. Baron Batch circles out as a running back as an extra receiver. Wide open down the middle to the 41 yard line. First down and 10, and they come back with the running play with Woods, his second carry. The Quick strike again. Four. Down he goes, sack for the first time for the Horns. So the Red Raiders fail to score on their first possession. And now they down a punt, and Colt McCoy will have to go the distance. I formation conservative in the end zone safety a safety on the first handoff of the game Colby Whitlock the nose man is in on Chris Obaniah and it's two nothing Red Raiders line just overpower Texas up front Richard Jones getting a push Whitlock Obaniah didn't have a chance by the time he had the football all he could see are black jerseys right in his face Bobbled on the 35-yard line, and so Graham Harrell comes out. Now here comes Woods, his third carry from scrimmage. And uh, Lisa, what did you find out about Crabtree's injury? They'll have their eye on number five. Second down and five. Harrell steps off to the right and throws complete for the first down. He hits Lewis. Will Muschamp's defense under fire. There's that inside shuttle pass. The Horns view that basically as a run, and that is Batch. Number 25, the ball carrier on it. So, with a big turnover. Trying to get through that wide gaps in pursuit of Harrell on the move. Right and a diving reception at the 30 yard line. Crabtree. Now, Crabtree come out of the backfield. He run a circle to the left. Harrell can't find him open right away, so he moves to the right. And it'll be second down. Not too far from Dallas, Texas. And Mike Leach swears by his decision making. That time he almost made a mistake with Aaron Williams closing in. Must champ trying to overload the front. Tries to get to Harold. Does not. Crabtree again rips away to the 12 yard line. Back to the running game with number two, Woods. Steps away from the pressure. Still waiting. Tom incomplete and he had a touchdown and they're well off the line they're going to try to blitz Harrell can they get there they cannot off the back foot incomplete and he was going for number five his first field goal attempt 29 yards rips it through how about this young man Donnie Corona he'll kick it off fielded at the 12 by Cosby Cosby looks gap and he's out to the 32 two zip now, Colt McCoy's first pass of the night, and why not? He comes in having completed 82%. How about the impact, guys, Kurt? <laughs> Second down and three. Inside shuttle pass. Open eye is short of the first down. Being down by five. Third and one, and they run Open eye, and it's going to be close. For 51 yards, as we take a look at this uh, inches away. McCoy himself. Remember, he got 51. He gets stood up. He gets stood up, but he may get the spot. I thought there was an early surge, Kirk, in which uh, McCoy moved toward that first down. There's a great look at it right there. It's, it's close, obviously. I don't know if it's going to be able to be changed just based on the spot, but at the end of the day, my point is Texas Tech up front right now is attacking Texas's offensive line. Play fake. Incomplete. Second down and 10. Rushed only three that time, and you could not a fumble. They'll rule that incomplete. Oh. 
prior to the snap. Prior to the snap, delay game, offense, five yard penalty, still third down. Gonna go deep, got a man open, and Shipley can't hold on. Folks, they're not executing. I want you to look at one on one opportunity that Colt McCoy sees with his favorite target, Shipley, going up against Brent Nickerson. The ball's there. That running rugby punt. Trying to get it on the ground as quickly as they can, and it's fielded dangerously by Wall at the five-yard line. Phone buddies ever since. They talked two days ago, fumbled in the end zone. Is that a lateral incomplete? The line judge right there said forward pass incomplete. Back to the running play, and uh, that's Roy Miller making the stop on Batch. Going to go deep. Midfield by Edward Britton. Horns defense. The Raiders up five. Going again. On the move, he'll throw this one away. Wow. That interception that return. Maybe play of the year. There's Crabtree on that middle screen. Picks up about nine and reaching down toward that ankle again. Great read by Graham. Slides to the 30 yard line. He's had it two minutes here in the opening quarter. Play fake. Fires complete again. Eight more yards. Eric Morris, the senior. Second and one. Here comes Batch. First down plus to about the 15-yard line. And time running out of the opening quarter. All day. Will they get the first down? There's a penalty flag. Comes flying. Tackle. foul. Face mask, defense number 12. Half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. Seconds ticking away, and it'll be Batch touchdown. Baron Batch with the evening's first touchdown. A field goal. 10 for 10. He's made it and always had a big comeback and an opportunity to do that. Here it comes. Shipley is out to the 20, and there's a penalty on the return. Marie Carl During Richard. the return, illegal block in the back by the return team, number 81. Half the distance to the goal, first down. Last week in that route up in Lawrence. Quick throw, Obanaya, who's a fine receiver. Out to the 14. Second down and three for McCoy in the horns. He's going to try to run for it and not get there. Quarterback draw, they circle him and won't give it to him. There's that running rugby-like punt. Try to get it on the ground. Here's Wall. It's a beauty. That punt is going to roll dead inside the 20-yard line. Trying to get a peek here. The Red Raiders and Graham Harrell pulls out and drops it off underneath the Woods. Woods, the running back, has got nine more. And here comes Woods for the first down. Breaking to daylight. A different-looking offense with that running game. That inside handoff, breaking his batch, who scored the game's first touchdown, muscling his way to midfield, and they continue to pound away on the number one team in the country. And win. That's your offensive line. Harrell, wide open in the middle, is Swindle. Play fake by Harrell. He's going to drop off another screen pass to Batch, and that one was read perfectly that time by Williams. Time of possession, huh? Harrell, they give him time, can't find anybody open. Down, need 14. Drops back to midfield. Fires, reaching for the first down and got it. How to work back to Graham Harrell. There it is, first down. Low snap. Picks it up. Got a man wide open. Touchdown! Eric Morris, his fifth touchdown of the season. This time, gets behind coverage and makes a big play. The future, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Texas turn again now. Here comes Shipley. Looking for daylight. Breaks free. 
out to the 42-yard line. Just a tremendous performance by the Tech defense. Incomplete, and suddenly it is second and ten. Three-man rush, and it is suddenly third and ten. Well, I think he had a free play. May have did they move? I think Texas Offside. Tech may have moved yeah. at the top, the defensive end. Offside. Defense number 46. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. Pump fake. Nobody open. Almost picked off. Colt McCoy and the success that they have had in these last few weeks, sitting on routes, knowing what's coming before it even comes. We've seen Colt McCoy in these last two or three weeks. On the first play from scrimmage. And this one will go out of bounds and it'll be marked on the 13 yard line. A flanker screen with Crabtree. Another first and ten. Put it down. There's a fumble. Horns are signaling that they've got it. Mac Brown's right in the middle. Williams came away pile. with it. Aaron Williams. Wow. Big play. Saying Texas is football. Kendall. Watch Kendall. Yep. The linebacker, number two, move in on the ball. Watch him rip it. And then it, I think it lands right. It bounces right into his stomach. Then Williams jumps over there. Aaron Williams jumps on the ball and recovers it. Open eye will run on first and ten. Two safeties that are deep. You've got to run the football. And Open eye does just that. Runs it for a first and ten. He's a well off that line of scrimmage again. And being stretched wide this time. Open eye didn't have a chance. Field here. He is off a play fake, and he's in trouble again. Sacked by Brandon Williams. The Can't find anybody. Steps away. Thrown down at the 28-yard line. And the horns are on the scoreboard. But a long way to go. Going out of bounds. And completing it outside, short of a first down. And all right, Kirk, oh, how many do you think of the seven? Yes. Very recently. There's Crabtree. Steps out with the first down and holds on to the ball. So Grew up in the Cody, went to school at BYU, and here's his running attack with Woods down to the 32 yard line. Running again with Woods for another first down and into the red zone. Batch who scored the touchdown breaks the tackle by Kendall. Gets back for a yard. Or the Red Raiders in the fourth quarter. Carroll complete to Crabtree again. On third down, here comes pressure. And they almost got one. And uh, wrestling it away from Aaron Williams was Eric Morris. And he rips a 31-yarder. Holy Toledo. Seven to go. Back in the end zone and taking a knee is Williams. Now, the Colts got plenty of time. If they can strike, they start off on the screen over an eye. And what a defensive performance. McCoy steps away from the pressure and takes off his best run of the night. Out to the 44-yard line. 27 yards on that run by McCoy. Now he comes back with another first down as he strikes to Brandon Collins. McCoy's got time and it's dropped again. This time it's Cosby in the horns. Steps away from the pressure, dumps it in underneath to Shipley, and Shipley's got first and ten out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That was McBath. Personal foul. Offense number 74. Oh my goodness. Hands to the face. 15-yard penalty. That's the least second down. Uses without 75 yards of offense in the first half in this game. Incomplete. Third and 25. Got one-on-one -on, -one on that far side. 
And it's snared. High, and you have Malcolm Williams at 6-3 going up and over. Huge catch for Texas. Three-man rush. And they sack. You got to use a timeout Corey here. with a three-man rush. Moving the pocket to the right. Fires back middle, incomplete. 50%. That inside shuttle pass. Open eye. He'll step out of bounds. Nails it. But tonight they look anything but the number one team in the nation. Fielded at the four yard line and a gap to the 25 yard line. And that's where Colt McCoy's we stopped again by this Raider defense. Only one of seven. Whitaker is going to see some action here as they snap it off to Kirkendall and that appears to be a horn first down to defend Colt McCoy's receivers McCoy keeps it and he's going to get ripped down by Whitlock second and 12 they drop it in now to Shipley trying to set him loose on the screen under pressure again drops it off incomplete Tucker back to punt. And running rugby punt and putting it on the ground. Eric Morris lets it roll. It's going to be downed. He was in the end zone with his hand on it, though. But they're going to mark it right there. It's where the football is. Yep. And Colt McCoy has been taking a licking. Woods slips out for a couple of yards. Woods trying to sweep left, and this will put it third and short. And three. Keeping on the ground short. And it's going to be three and done on this drive. And with Cosby injured, Shipley fields it at the 45. This is going to be great field position for the Horns. He's got an alley. There is a penalty flag down. As he goes into the end zone, there is a flag at the 30 yard line. There is no foul for illegal block in the back. The Touchdown. Is legal. Touchdown. Touchdown, Shipley. A 45 yard punt return. Lawrence tacks on the extra point, and it's 22 13. So the special team gives. Texas a huge lift with this punt return by Shipley for a touchdown. Emotion now. On first down, he puts it in Morris's hands. Harrell under center will give it to him. And he bangs straight ahead for the first down. Harrell down the middle, and he's got Crabtree. Crabtree finds another hole for several years. One of the defensive ends. They throw a little bit high. Second down and 10. Quick strike on the outside. That's Leong again. Here's your third down. Most champs got heat. Miller's on him. And that's short of a first down incomplete. They're forced to punt. Must champs defense has come alive here in the second half. Looks like that's what they were trying to do, and he'll come on over. Give him five more yards for the uh, for the punter. They're winning on third down. Shipley is back deep again. They went after this punt, and I believe they got a piece of it. It's going to roll down just inside the 20-yard line regardless, but uh, enormous heat applied by Williams. And Buckner are the wideouts. Cosby still sitting out. It juggled out of bounds. Second down and 10. And the whistle. Ball start offense. Number 63. Five yard penalty. Still second down. 10. On second and 15. The line gives him time. Here's Shipley. Holding. Offense number 74. Half the distance to the goal. Repeat second down. Steps up, intercepted, picked off by Charbonnet, and Charbonnet scores. Matt Williams 
continues to be perfect reverberating from Gainesville to Tuscaloosa State College all around the country now. Play action gave him time and he overthrew. Four straight incompletions and so they stay on the ground this time with Fozzie Whitaker. They have changed that front all night. Complete for the first down. He snaps off a strong throw that time. Nice catch there. There's a pitch to Whitaker. Now to the 38 yard line. First down. Four. On first down, Shipley again picking up about 11 yards on that play. Play fake by McCoy, and he's going to be sacked again. Now they start that action to the right and bring Whitaker back the other side. Incomplete. And it will be fourth down coming up for the Horns. A quick kick, the second of the year by McCoy. The second time he's done it. Illegal formation and offense, only six men on line of scrimmage. That penalty's decline, result of the play, first down, Texas Tech. Force Graham Harrell to the sidelines. We'll see what happens here the third time. Kendall's coming. And a perfect strike with a penalty flag thrown on the play as first throws foul. It. Offense, number 65, hands to the face. Half the distance to the goal, repeat first down. Here's Woods. Made the most out of that, getting to the short side sideline. Gideon bumps him out. There it is. You called it, Kirk. They put him over there, set it up perfectly. Number two. Snaps off, incomplete. Hangs it high. Fair catch is going to be signaled by Shipley, and he makes it at the 42 yard line. And McCoy hands off, and Whitaker has become the running back here for the Horns. They've had a couple of three and outs. There's a late pitch. Out of bounds, Texas ball. Going deep, man covered. Pushing, shoving, and there's your interference call. But who is this one on? Pass interference. Defense number three. 15-yard mm. penalty. Automatic first down. Seaver, he's a true freshman at 6'4. The best corner from Texas Tech. They're, they're back, they're going back and forth. Oh. Here's complete to his roommate Shipley. There, that's the only spot he has to throw the football underneath. Shipley can't get to the first down marker. Stumbling. Complete. And running for the end zone is Williams. Touchdown, Texas. Malcolm Williams. Penalty. There's a penalty thrown by the back judge. Thank Pass you. interference. Defense number 10. Half the distance to the goal. Repeat the down. I think everybody, there's a tip pass there. That pass was tipped. Tip pass means there cannot be pass interference. The pass was tipped at the line of scrimmage. Therefore, there is no penalty for pass interference. The try is no good. Beautiful kickoff. It'll come out on the 20-yard line. Play fake, going down the middle, complete. Middle. To the 32 yard line. There's the handoff to back. Muscles his way across the 30 yard line. Inside handoff again to back. Harrell throws for it to the 10 yard line. Now they come back with the run play with Woods. Spinning and twisting across the ten, <laughs> refusing to pick Purdue in anything. Incomplete one at Crabtree on that quick slant that time. Third and seven. 
Harrell in trouble suddenly. Not going away as Kendall came in and cleaned it up, but it was Miller. His first miss, it's blocked. And it'll be Longhorn football. After the play, it ended. Personal foul. Texas, half the distance to the goal. First down. The crowd alive and love it. Got a man open. Got him. And in a foot race is Williams pulling away. They won't catch him. Touchdown, Texas. Now Lawrence can make this a three-point game, and he does exactly that. Colt McCoy is at it again. 11 minutes to go in Lubbock. Texas defense has played much better in the second half. Snared out of the air. Snapped right down by Detron Lewis. That screen pass to the wide receiver, and they bust it. Now they come in with Batch on the running play. He breaks the tackle by Robinson. Got it back, make it second and three. And Woods now will make it third and short. This time they run Woods for the first down. There's that wide receiver screen again with Britton. Foot movement in the middle, and there's the penalty flag. Here comes Woods. Prior to the snap, ball start. Offense number 65. Five yard penalty. Still first down. First down and 15. Melton breaks free. Harrell fires a strike to the 15 yard line and Britton again. Second and four, and here's Woods. Short of the first down. They're going to run for the first and ten. Batch. High and incomplete. Crabtree. Pass interference. Offense number five. 15 yard penalty. Repeat second down. Top of the screen. Boy, I don't First know off. about that. You think? And then the receiver slipped Brown. There was contact initially. Fires in zone. And this time, not holding on is Lewis. Second and goal. Harold's going to get in zone. Incomplete. Fires almost intercepted. On the receiver, and then he realized the ball was overthrown to the smaller Eric Morris, and it hits him right in the chest. A little bit longer. Here's Corona. And, the, and he nails it. They send Corona onto the field. He's been the kickoff man. He hits the long one. And he'll come out on the 20 yard line. A couple of timeouts remaining. Second down and 10. Inside shuttle pass. Whitaker. Got the first down. In late as the defensive rush man. They go back to the run. The speedster Whitaker breaks to the next level. And he is into Red Raider territory. Complete. Shipley. McCoy going to take off. It's off to run. Open eye out back into the game and he appeared to have the first down. Striking to Shipley underneath. So two and a half minutes remaining. McCoy keeps it. Got the first and ten. Steps out of bounds. There's the inside handoff to Whitaker. Gets the call, end zone, touchdown! An extra point away from coming back in dramatic fashion to take a lead with 1.29 remaining. And they are down for the first time tonight. Return this. 
It's Wall, and he's coming out. 15. Alley in the middle. 30. 35, and run out of bounds at the 37 with 123. Snaps it off on first down, and that's the running back, Batch, who slips out. There's that quick hitch over to the flanker for the first and ten. That's Lewis. Another first and ten, stopping the clock. Harrell. And that's a first and ten. Can't take a sack. Deflected, intercepted. Texas. No, they rule it down. Incomplete. I thought for sure that he had deflected it to Gideon. Because the play clock has already started. The ball's up in the air. The true freshman, Blake Gideon. Brent comes underneath it. That's oh, a drill that you it. work on all the time. It goes right oh, through his I, arm. I saw it at his yeah. legs, and I thought he'd had it. Still one timeout left here for Texas Tech. Eight seconds. Second down now. Deep strike. Got the big man. Country pulls free. And touchdown. Red Raiders with a second to go. This is 28 yards. The fans have stormed the field. They're going to have to clear the field here. They're going to have to clear the field. And Harold just put this up, relying on the best receiver in college football to make a play, and the strength of his hands. Big-time players make big plays in big games, and that's what Michael Crabtree just did. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. It's a touchdown. And they're going to storm the field again. they got to get him off. This game's not over. Unsportsmanlike conduct by the offense. That penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Folks, that could be no small thing here now. With No, no. With that additional unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, the kickoff will be from the seven and a half yard line. Oh, hey, boys. Squib it. Here comes the lateral. There's one. Intercepted. Texas Tech upsets the number one team in the country. No more penalties for this crowd. They can storm the field. There's the symbol in Lubbock. Guns up. Let's go to Lisa with the quarterback. Let's start with you first. Take me through that touchdown play, the game winning play. What happened? They're, they try to man up crab. There's not anyone in the country that can man up crab. And I saw, man, uh, the guy wasn't looking. I threw it behind him when he didn't see the ball. Crab makes a play. He's the best in the country. There's no doubt about it. What were you thinking when you looked up? 129 left to go, and you guys are down. We're going to win the game. You know what I mean? You left us too much time. Uh, you know, when, with this offense, we know we can score in a hurry. A uh, minute 29 is way too much time for us, and I believe. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. Michael, same question. Describe that touchdown for me. Okay. Describe that touchdown for me. Oh, man. I I don't want to say nothing, but I dreamed that the same way. It's crazy. No, you did. I dreamed in my head. I said, but you know how you do it every play you dream, but it really happened. So, I mean, it was, it was great, man. And when you looked up on the clock and saw 129 left and you were down, what were you thinking? I was thinking we got to do our job. We got to go out there and score. If not get a field goal range, so we get Matt to kick it. But, I mean, I got to take it in. All right, thank you very much. Congratulations. Folks, welcome to November. Oh, that's great. This Texas is Tech stuns the world, Kirk. 39-33. There will be a new number one come Sunday afternoon.